keeping a stats um, website that keeps track of all these tournaments and VODs and like your records and tournaments and things like that. I don't know if they're actually making a matchmaking thing, but they probably should. Yeah. And they, and they did probably easily do that. Yeah, and they did buy out the website called SSV Player Data, which is a really big database uh, for myself included and a lot of people who definitely see tournaments to look through. But here, of course, we're in a game one, Ashen versus Raven King. And like you mentioned earlier, Strides, he's probably used to this matchup. How have you seen this matchup kind of play through? Uh, well, I know, um, I know he's played against skills quite a few times, at least. But, uh, yeah, a lot of times where Ike wants to jump and, you know, start his offense, he has to worry about getting hit by a, a projectile. So that can be very difficult for him in this matchup. But, uh, yeah, when he does get in, you know, Young definitely gets blown up pretty hard. But, uh, yeah, it, it's not easy whatsoever. <laughs> Yeah, and look at the way that Ashton always drops that bomb there on the Z-drop. Just because it's at a really good opportunity that if Raven King wants to roll or walk forward, he has to worry about interacting with bomb. And if he jumps, that's a call out for Ashton in that situation. What a good toss just to get that uh, recovery there on the quick draw. Ooh, even from full screen. Yeah, very unsafe dash attack on shield. Oh, look at this back air chain. Nice. Oh, oh good, wow. Good on I thought Ashton would try to uh, pull a bomb early, maybe directional air dodge, and then see if it'll blow up in time for the up but it didn't go for it. Oh, no. Raven uh, King. No, Raven this... King, man. What's with, what's with these SDs this uh, Monday, dude? This is the most I've ever seen of SD. I agree. I agree. He's he's feeling the Monday blues, man. And that's what it is. Happens to happens to the best of us. You wake up. It's another week. You're still in quarantine, man. No offline. Hurts. Mondays Mondays be rough these days. Yeah, pretty pretty rough for Raven King. I mean, luckily for for him though, at least from what I'm noticing, even when he does you know have these unfortunate SDs, he doesn't really seem to lose momentum that much. No, not at all. He knows it's just a neutral air, uh, a neutral interaction away from him making that big explosion against Young Link. And I did mention he is on the lighter side, so he can get blown up for sure. Oh, with grab here, and this is big for Ash and almost able to corner oh. carry him. I like the idea. He didn't get the arrow confirmed to work, but... The platform carry was definitely looking real. I mean, it doesn't take much for Ashton to, you know, bring this back. Or, sorry, to take this game. Okay, he's going to do the early air dodge off stage. Yep, so and he's got that bump. bump. Oh, not oh, enough height. Oh, yeah, yeah. He started it uh, a little bit too late for that to be effective recovery. Right, and that's good. That's good. Ashton doesn't people. have to approach, and he knows that, too. It's Raven King who has to make this place. Oh, Ow. my... The bomb actually flew up in his hands, breaking his shield. I've never seen that before, ever. And, and it's tough, too, because if you look at the positioning for Raven King, if he had just let go of shield, that was he was going to be in for a world of hurt. So it was like how do, it's more of like, how do you want to die, not how do you want to pick your poison. It's just how do you want to die. And for Ashton, that was just really good coverage all the way around. I talked about how he's always using that bomb as a Z-drop in a trap in the neutral. And it just goes to show, you know, what Young Lee can do and Ashton can do against Raven King. I hope Raven King snaps out of the Monday Blues, man, because that SD was looking mighty costly for sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. A very uncharacteristic play from uh, Raven King. Like, today, at least. But, uh... You know, I'm not going to, you know, make excuses for Raven King. Ashton's also an amazing player. Most definitely. So, uh, Most definitely. You can't give him any, you know, freebies like that. He'll, he'll take it all day. So hopefully this game, Raven King can, you know, clean up his play. Have no more STs. He does have a great counter pick here, though. This is one of the Vikes' best stages, in my opinion. The middle platform is so good for his combos. If he like, starts to near at the right percent, like, while he's under that... He can uh, get some really early kills. 
Oh, double back air into the hero spin. I talked about it a little bit earlier, if you guys have been watching from the beginning of the stream, that why that back air is so excellent out of shield, but why that back air is just playing so well in general here. What a catch, especially after the quick draw. He's at center stage, so that's big enough for Ashton. Kind of covers the platform here, and he almost gets that forward air, but the down smash, Ashton is looking to just run this man over. Yeah, he's uh, not slowing down every time he gets a hit. Continuously putting Raven King in terrible spots. And he's gonna fall on top of him with the down air. Like that move is actually really fast. A lot of people just don't react to it that that quickly. And it's, it's also has very little landing lag anyway. Oh my god, that was such a good reverse ether though. I like that he also held in to avoid you know SDing while taking the stock. That yeah. was actually really crazy. And we saw Raven King reverse that ether earlier in the last game here, but it's good to see it kind of play all the way through and take the stock. Raven King, I like how he's slowly waking up here, but Ash has still got that opportunity to kind of turn things around here. Again, almost getting the Nair platform carry. Instead, he goes for it forward air instead of the up air. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but again, you can see the strength that uh, that middle platform has for Ike. Yeah, and when you think about it too for Young Link, you know he has to fight for center stage because Ike's damage is incredibly powerful. Oh, that's oh, so good. And he forced him to panic with the directional air dodge because he thought he might have had to attack. Yeah, Great that was like, for Raven King. Yeah, a really good coverage off stage for Raven King. Continuing to apply this pressure at the ledge. Ashton's just kind of struggling to get out of this advantage right now. Okay, finally it's center stage. But yeah, you can't really apply any pressure with his projectiles here. Raven King's just a little bit too fast right now. I'm not where he wants him, but great roll. He's looking for that neutral get up to get a down tilt up B, but yeah, Raven King's not giving it to him whatsoever. And Another I'm up B attempt. He doesn't get it, but man, very close. I don't know how I feel about that counter, but luckily he doesn't die for it. Okay. Yeah, at Ooh, this point, Raven King does not want to give Ashen anything. Nice. I also have enough range to kind of challenge that, that down air. Oh, what a call out. Oh. Yep. Get off me. Don't you never, dare. Never, ever underestimate the range of ether. Oh, he never. Way too much. <laughs> covers way too much space in front of Ike. Most definitely. And alongside the armor, I, there was a few times where I, like, I myself questioned Raven King for going for ether. I will no longer question that because there's a reason why he went for that. He was able to call out Ashen in that range. Great plays all around from Raven King. And you heard me laugh a little bit earlier because I love how both players understand Certain situations in the neutral, just a little bit of a down tilt, and they can get so much. I can get down tilt to forward air and down tilt to rar back air. And then I've also seen Ash and of course being able to get down tilt to out hero spin and down tilt to also rar back air or hero spin. Both players yeah. just know what to do with their confirms. Definitely goes to show the level of player they are they are. Yes. At this at this level now, like uh you have to have your confirms on point. Yeah, Especially if you're playing these two characters, since they get so much reward off of their combo starter. You don't want to be dropping those, you know, opportunities to get huge damage. Correct but, the move. Okay, battlefield? I'm a, uh, I'm surprised. I think this is an amazing <laughs> Ike stage. All right, I'm with you on that story. It's, it's, it's Nair City for Ike and Up Air City, so we'll see. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see what Ashley can do here on this stage. Right now, though, he's getting pinned on the platform. Raven King trying to continue his dominance here in neutral, but there's a good start. Oh, yeah, you gotta watch it. I don't, I don't like people getting stuck in shield under Ike. <laughs> There's so many <laughs> ways of pressuring your shield. I wouldn't even want to be on the platform in that situation. Okay. Uh, missed with with jabs. Here. Yeah, I like that too for Ike on this stage. He can use the quick draw in some interesting spots to uh, land on the platform instead of going to the ledge. Mm, excellent tomahawk grab there. He, he catches Ashton kind of holding shields on the stage. Once again, I'll, once again, oh, what a mix-up too. You would have normally seen him going for neutral air tomahawk grab, but I like the mix-up with down tilt because he yeah, knows I can even, confirm that. Yeah, even Ashton knows right, able to parry that too. So you actually saw that coming. Oh Ooh. my God, another reverse ether edge guard, man. So crazy. Oh, and this is a big 20, not a big 12 percent, but a nice 12 percent there coming up from Black, the Angel platform against Ashton. Yeah, it's just a really good move to catch people who are like coming into you with invincibility. It takes a lot of time, so it wastes that invincibility. You also has some armor on it as well. Oh He's my god, this pressure is ridiculous right now from Raven King. 
Ashton, he needs to do something to get this dog before Raven King continues to run with this momentum. The Battlefield counterpick working against him there. Blast zone's really, really big. Nice. See, oh. you, you can see the patience, too. He waited for that air dodge. Okay. Also on top of him with the Kokiri Sword once again. 84% though, very dangerous as Young Link in this matchup. Most definitely. That downer has a lot of knockback, a lot of cooldown. Good active frames. It pays it pays the bills for him, man. That's all I'm saying. I talked about how earlier that dash attack, it's a lot of commitment for Mike here. And look at the percentage he went just for going for it on shield. It's a good finisher, it's a good catch, but it's not a good startup from the left side of the stage here. Raven King's gotta play for center now. Nice. Ashton making a really good comeback here. Arrow into the nair. He has him off stage where he wants him. Doesn't get the arrow snipe he's looking for though. Ooh, nice. Waits for the boomerang to confirm to the forward air. What a what a mix up with those jumps too. He went center platform and then he said, forget it. Let me just drop down and get something afterwards. Epson use the bomb recovery here. He can recover? He has enough height here. Yeah. A lot of shield pressure on the platform. Oh, Ashton sinks in there. He has the opportunity to steal this dock. Oh, Ooh, that'll do it. Nice, nice. Great comeback from Ashton. Yeah. Trailing behind by quite a bit, but finds himself with the stock lead now. That was good for Raven King, too. You see him go for Aether once again, just because, hey, if you wanted to call him out for a jump, he would have definitely covered that out of the way. Raven King here, 44 to 158 here. Ashton with the stock lead. We talked about how this is a good stage for Ike here, but I'm seeing where this is now slowly paying dividends for Ashton here. Nice, fade away a little bit. I don't want to be in that ether range. We've seen Raven King use that quite a few times in the neutral. Ooh, he's in the forward air, okay. Last stock for each. Really good empty hop into the grab, but no follow-up. Yeah, Attack. can't be a little bit greedy for the, the ether. Ashen's not really running into it as much as he was before. Excellent parry. You don't want to get hit by that down tilt, especially on that side of the stage. That's a corner carry for Ike here. Gets a down throw, but unfortunately the boomerang on the return is enough to stop it. Yeah, he's not timing his throw to get the uh, armor to avoid getting hit by boomerang. Wolf grab. Here's the catch here. A couple, oh. couple aerials here, but not enough to put Link in the skies. Punch off. I like that. Very cautious of coming back on stage two, specifically where Ashton was at. A lot of shield pressure on the platform. Ooh, Ooh he's gone, man. Raven King was just looking for that one there he needed. Man, Ashton was playing around it so well, but just caught slipping one time, and that's all it took. And you can tell what, he, what Ike says, man. He says it himself, man. I have sympathy for nobody, not even this child. Aven King here, a little that goes to show a lot of the patience. Playing around the neutral with Ashton kind of paid off. And you see it too, he was mixing his jumps. He was either going to a platform, going on stage, not even landing on stage on times, going for down tilt, empty hop grab, going for nair. He was trying to make sure that he was playing rock, paper, scissors with Ashton, and he was coming out on top every single time. Yeah, that's actually really impressive. Like it just something I say a lot when I talk about good axe play, but Raven King demonstrates that mix up uh, in approach very well and how you can get to work. Like, it's not you, it's not just Nair all the time. <laughs> Boomerang right, Fire kind of started off kind of Younglings bread and butter there, especially when you're close range. There's the forward air. Good knockback, good range. Pushes Ash a little bit off. Neutral to kind of catch the landing here with this great arc. It sounds like a song I, I'd see, I would hear in uh, Attack on Titan. What a catch here on the roll. I think it was Fire Emblem song, actually. It, it is, it is, it is. But it sounds oh. like something I'd hear in Attack on Titan, honestly. Well, I guess the, the music counter pick as well. <laughs> Ashton doing a good job of keeping Raven King at bay with these projectiles, and that's why Arrow confirms are so good on this stage. That Arrow pretty much always puts you in a tech chase uh, 
situation to where the youngling can just react and hit you with down there if you miss the tech. Mm -hmm. But no extra credit whatsoever. And I guess that's the story of the stage between both players, right? What's better, arrow confirms or nair confirms? And with the way that Raven King mixes each up the situations, right? You have to ask yourself, where is the real counter pick on this stage for both players? But there is going to be the grab with a safe range to kind of call out the, the counter. I love these two players in the shield standoff. We're looking to see who will make the commitment. Oh, caught the roll. Nice. Patience there, sneaking in the grab. Oh, oh my almost God. a reverse. The reverse Not going to be enough to seal this dock, but still, I really appreciate the awareness from Raven King to like, throw that out. Oh, my goodness. He's scaring with these empty hops on the platform. <laughs> empty hop. Yeah, they're both abusing the empty hops here. <laughs> and it's crazy, too, because both players, a lot of characters, every character, player wise, strategy wise, and skill level, you have to always remember to empty hop, tomahawk grab. Mix it up, man. We never want to keep our game plan the same. Okay, patience here. I like that safe back air. Nice. Yeah, I love back air episode there. So she was shield pressure from Raping King. Yeah, oh. good pressure, good oh, damage. Double safe. arrow, but Woo. nice down tilt positioning, man. He always thinks it didn't ride the ledge. Up air? Right oh, nice. Goes for neutral there. I see some young links get up air, but those are one of the moves you can definitely do after a hero spin. Kind of crazy that young link does have a follow up after hero spin. What a read, too. He said if you want to roll, fine. He has a back air. I have ranges to cover that. All right. So potentially, uh, Raven King one stock away from moving on to the loser semi. Let's see if Ashton has what it takes to seal this one out. Free to a game five. Playing very well at the ledge right here. <laughs> oh yeah, he's, Ashen's very disciplined when he's like in that shield situation. He doesn't want to be the first one to press an unsafe move. And it takes a lot of discipline too, because letting go of a shield is a leap of faith for both players. They can get so much off of just a shield, a grab, an empty hop, and they know it too here. Raven King here, 104 to 38. Oh, oh my god, what a Hard read. Punish, forward smash. Oh, goes, tries to go for the forward air snipe. I like it. No yeah, panic, no good. panic from Raven King. No panic. Oh. Hey. Oh my goodness, hitting the bomb at the ledge. Oh wow. my, drops right there with the grab. No follow-up though, but again, so much pressure with these empty hops and down tilts. Mixing up a lot here. Hey, okay, Ashton's gonna air dodge the top platform. Oh my goodness, he's stalling his aerial. Just seeing if he can catch a shield poke or like a uh, miss parry attempt. Oh! Moving right to forward air, right, I guess heavy, 147. Blast zones on battlefield, kind of helped out a little bit here. Ashton does not want to get nared. Yeah, Trying you can see that Raven King like even. Ooh, no. Nice. We're still Great DI. Raging. Rage Ike, man. One of his most terrifying characters in this game. Ashton delaying his area on the shield. See if he can catch a poke by Raven King playing very good player. Oh, he oh, jumped into the blast jumped. zone. Backwards into the blast zone, yeah. That is going to be what seals his fate in that game. But, man, great stuff to Ashton. Super, super, super close. Super close indeed. Should you not jump there? Well, the thing is, uh, yeah, a lot of times it's better to air dodge there. Because if you jump when you're that close to the blast zone, you'll just jump into the blast zone. Exactly. exactly. Always remember, there are situations where you can kind of, oh, sorry, you can shift your hurt box away from the blast zone. Specifically, Ike Fair, just because he moves his whole body forward. And in that situation, he's moving, he jumped into the blast zone, thus pushing his hurt box into the blast zone. So always look for a move that when you're closer to the blast zone, it pushes your body forward. Coincidentally, Corrin's yeah. back air is not good when you're at the blast zone because the wings count as Corrin's hurt box. Yeah, I actually used to think that was smart too because it just seems to make sense. But no, nah, she actually dies earlier because she puts her wings in the box. Yep. And I wanted to use that example for you guys because I know Corrin back air pushes Corrin forward. 
But uh, let's see, let's see. We're back on Battlefield for the third time in a row. Game five between these two. Ashton already starting off really well. I really love how he's using these projectiles, making Raven King scared to jump because he's getting hit over and over. I just love the Attack on Titan music. I know it's Fire Emblem, man, but I've seen too Wait, many you enemies. Song twice? Yeah, I have a song twice. twice. What the heck? Where I hate the. I'm actually sad because I have really good Battlefield music selected, but it doesn't play that online. It only does it for offline for some reason. Since the new update for Nintendo. Oh, okay, we're living. Damn, I almost killed at 85. Oh, watch out! The Raven King is trying to just sneak in this nair. Bastion's playing really well around it right now. Excellent jump there to kind of get on the platform. I like that very oh. little commitment. That dash attack, not enough shield. The shield wasn't low enough to kind of poke through and get that damage. Or the stock. Nice. I like the quick drop to the top Ooh, platform. Trade. Oh, no. Not enough to kill, unfortunately, for Raven King. But, oh, wow. That actually, he had not a lot of lag. I thought that tether grab would be very punishable. Same, same. Ah, oh, Raven King on the neutral get up. And it's understandable too. You don't want to roll get up. You don't want to jump get up because you have to worry about boomerang. You have to worry about grab. <laughs> and I love watching these two in the Ooh. shield stand off because they know what it means. Yeah, you know, dropping shield is a lot of frames in the game, so no one wants to be the one to do it first. Uh, shield grab ain't what it used to be, guys. Always remember that. Aerials at a shield are a little bit better. Definitely more meta here. Uh, West grab here, and this is Ashton to kind of get more of the stage for himself. 109 to 24. Boomerang to forward air to take almost take the stock. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, Raven King's been living these crazy strong kill moves at the ledge, but uh, yeah, and he's in a really rough spot. Good stuff for Swagger. Nice MPL grab again. Too. Uh, Swaggo says, you know, Ashton doesn't out smash too often, and that's understandable. Usually, oh, oh, never mind. I stand corrected. I am sorry. I, I should probably listen to the, to the commentary, and he says, I got you. Yeah, of all times, out smash, doing it out of a confirm is uh, probably the best time. Yeah, great stuff for Ashton. And it's oh, back air one fastball. Raven King struggling to find this kill, man. Ashton's so difficult to hit with a substantial move. There's the forward air. Ashton. Up air. That was the best buff to Ike that they gave him, man. Just changing that whole up air. <laughs> yeah, it's a great hitbox. Oh. Yeah, Ashton's oh, playing sneaky so with carefully. the back air too. Yeah, he knows. He knows. You give Raven King momentum, and he will take everything. Oh my he can. goodness! He just took like ten projectile hits off stage. <laughs> Every little hit for Ashton gets is just furthering his lead. Raven King having to put in so much work, trying to get this stock. Oh, oh. through rank fair. He's good. Not he's good. Enough. That was scary. That was scary because he actually jumped again this time. But he's managed, he manages to actually quick draw perfectly onto the ledge. Still surviving here. He's hanging by a thread. 169 to 129. Narrowly escaping forward in the first hit did not cut it to the second. Oh. Oh, neutral, yeah. That's nice narrow his shield. Ashton managed to wait so patiently. He did not give Raven King any free opening at the end there. So, so hard to hit.